I'm Lieutenant Colonel Karen Landale, and I'm an assistant professor here at the Naval Post Graduate School, Graduate School of Business and Public Policy. I teach in the contract management curriculum, and so we have within that curriculum several different professional certifications that our students can take before they leave school here. There's four different professional certifications our students can take, um, and two of them are from the um, National Contract Management Association. They have the Certified Federal Contracts Manager, which I would say is sort of like the first one that students tend to take. Um, it requires it's a uh, it's re it requires basically knowledge, skills, and competencies related to the federal acquisition regulation. So most of our students are very familiar with that because they work in a federal organization. So um, that's usually the one that the students take the most. If they have a little more experience in contracting, they, they might also take the Certified Professional in Contract Management or the CPCM, and that one is really um, a broader view of contracting. So it's not only the federal knowledge, but it's also the commercial practices and skills. Um, it requires a little bit more um, experience in the career field to take that exam. So fewer students take it, but it's still one that's available to them while they're here. And then we have one that goes above and beyond contracting, and it's really about supplier management or supply chain management. And that one is called the Certified Professional in Supply Management, um, and it's given by the Institute for Supply Management. And so that particular certification measures or tests the student's knowledge and skills in areas like uh, finance, supplier risk management, supplier relationship management, and just general supply chain management um, competencies. These certifications are actually really important for the students because they show a level of knowledge and skills above and beyond uh, basically what we would require in our DOD training.